pellets. What did you think? I thought it was just a kit so that when you go and find it, you know, when you're a perv, you just know where the animal poop is. Matthias is getting upset. <laughs> What's going on guys? I am Matthias. Welcome to 10 Strange Things Tanner from Wrecked found on Amazon. He picked out all these things. He thinks they're weird. I'm gonna let you know whether these things are a buy it or a pass it. Old school style, whether it's good or bad. Let's begin. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Why on earth? Creative UFO waterproof hands-free umbrella. Why? Look at this poor kid. They couldn't even get him to smile. He's like, Dad, do I really have to do this right now? Please? Can you just try this out on like your mannequin in the office? I know you got one, you weirdo. I don't know if that was the kid saying that or me. Yeah. <laughs> I got so many questions. Why use this? over a poncho. Don't you think this is just kind of collect all the water around you? Is it maybe because it's like quick? It's like quick to put on? It looks like this guy that's like riding on that like unicycle over there. He hits a jump, dude. He's just gonna parachute. Look at this family. Oh my gosh. Man, it's too early to see this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> hands-free solution. You know, because jackets, not hands-free. <laughs> the biggest advantage is the liberation of your hands. <laughs> so you are free to play in the rain and even the rain jobs. <laughs> <laughs> That just sounds pervy to me, yeah. dude. Reliable, it has two belts so it won't be blown away by the wind. Two belts? Oh my gosh, it's under their arms. So straight up they can parachute. I can't, dude. I literally can't. I gotta see reviews for this. <gasps> Big shock, no reviews. Let me be the first. Add the cart. Oh, okay. Oh my gosh. It looks like a giant witch's hat. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. It's kind of like tilt. Whoa, what the heck? What is it doing, dude? I feel like I'm one of those like lizards in Jurassic Park. You're just yeah. kind of like. <laughs> Let's walk around the office with this and see if anyone has even the slightest clue what this is. Hey, dude. What's up, man? <laughs> Wait, where did he go? <laughs> he ran away, dude. He was scared of it, dude. And then he was like, what is that? Is that so that's the question, dude. What is this? I, that looks like a rain protector for your clothes. Really? Like a head umbrella? Is that a head brella? A head brella, dude? Is that a head brella? Uh, it's, you're getting there, dude. What is it, though? I don't know. Get a little closer, dude. <laughs> dude, that actually, like, I thought I was gonna do something. It's got like legit. Oh, dude, that's yeah, dude. Neat, bro. It's like a little parachute. Dude, dude that, right. you know me dangerous. If like there was like a really like if you're a really light person and a really strong gust of wind comes up and just takes you away. <laughs> <laughs> you guessed it right. Ding, ding, ding. Ah! Oh, whoa! <laughs> what are you wearing? That's <laughs> that's what I want to know. Okay. What am I wearing? It's an umbrella. Umbrella. Umbrellas go above a you. Wear, a wearable umbrella. We're now, Seriously, what are you, you wearing? Like this. <laughs> it's like Jurassic Park. Park. <laughs> it's like Jurassic Park. <laughs> Everyone's like, oh, oh, this is like right when. I'm... All right, buy it or pass. As a fashion statement, you have hair. Buy it. Pass. All right, you get it, dude. No. New entertainment desktop golf. Ooh, ah, uh, does it include a golf stick? <laughs> Golf stick. <laughs> well, in a past video, uh, one of the reviews was like, I don't know, but does it include a golf stick? <laughs> Someone's like, yes, definitely a golf stick. It's always tea time with the Intex, I thought it said latex. <laughs> with the Intex USA desktop golf set that features an adjustable green and specially designed putter for left or right handers. I don't like the word putter. Something weird with it. You got a putter? <laughs> Maybe it's because it sounds like pooter. Every game of golf will have its own unique challenge. Looks like it's pretty much the same thing pretty much the entire time. No? Or maybe that little thing on the bottom adjusts like various things in the course. Well, the only thing it's gonna do is change where the hill is though. Oh, it's on both sides. It's changing the landscape of this golf environment. Very cool, but <laughs> doesn't look like it really did anything whatsoever. Oh, I thought he was about to change the hole. I was gonna be like, that's cool. If you could change the hole, you know what I'm saying? That'd be pretty exceptional. If you could change your hole? I wish I could change my hole. Which hole? Like your mouth? My mouth hole, yeah. Need some help. <laughs> Definitely need some help, dude. I don't want to be anywhere near your mouth hole. Am I right? <laughs> One star. Ridiculous toy. <laughs> I want to get inside that head. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> I want to get inside that person's head and try to understand, like, why were they so pissed off and what did they really expect from this? I don't know, but I'm excited. I'm going to add the cart. Executive desktop golf. Change the slope. That's what it's called. The slope. I kept saying like hill or lump. Magnetic flag for easy ball retrieval. Nice. Fingers. Psh, too difficult. Can't you just turn it upside down? Just like. 
perfect desktop challenge. You know, when I'm at my desktop, I'm always like, how can I be challenged right now? Because clearly my work isn't doing it, you know? Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Do really? You know? That's horrible. That I know how. You, if your work that I'm giving you isn't challenging, <laughs> got him. <laughs> got, you're like, Ooh. as I turn this up and down, it raises and lowers the slopes on the course, and I can change this thing all the way around. But honestly, it's really having minimal effect, if anything. That seems odd. If you look closely, it's taking up the entire hole. No, you're putting, you're supposed to take it out. But then why would they even give it to you? Because this whole thing's a putting. When you putt, you don't have the flag in. I know, so this whole thing is for putting. So why would you even have the flag in then, ever? Because that's how you retrieve the ball, aesthetic. Oh, what is this? Is that how you do it? What, you can't change that? Okay, it was like, it was in like this. So anytime you hit the ball, it would like go at an angle. You have to like change it like that. I guess this is helping a little bit because you don't want to, Oh, dude, what if I did it first try? I just sunk it. How many tries does it take? Three. A little too hard. Subtle adjustments. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is supposed to be something that brings you, like, tranquility. This, yeah, this brings <laughs> me stress, bro. Angry. And what? Did you see? It literally rolled around it. It was like, oh, there's the hole. Hey, what's up over here? Look, I'm gonna move it. I'm gonna slightly adjust. Thank you. Money. I don't know. Let's take it around the office and see what people think of this. See if I can uh, beat them at a game of putt-putt. I challenge you to a duel. How many hits to get into the hole? Right, let me get my game face on. What are you, what are you sucking on? I just said... Oh, oh disgusting! <laughs> you don't floss your teeth? After you clean your teeth? Yeah, when I floss my teeth, I don't suck on the floss afterwards. <laughs> That's just me, though. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, how many, dude? I think I can do one. Come on. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Whoa, what did you just do? <laughs> you can't cheat! That's not cheating, this is a part of the thing. All right, this okay. would be cheating. All right. How many hits, dude? How one hit. Hits? One, one hit, hit. still. Whoops, that was I one. Did, that didn't <laughs> there we go. I, was, <laughs> I missed the... That was one hit. That was a stroke. No, I let go of the thing on accident. Alright, ready? What the heck? <laughs> what? <laughs> There you go, that's closer. Oh, this is kind of cool. Yeah, you think so? I kind of like this thing, yeah. See, don't you feel like this would be a much more fun, a more, more fun game? <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm gonna have to say this one's a pass. Yeah. And now it is time for your dope or nope segment. Yes, that's right. Today we're looking at the Hover XLS folding electric bike. This one was sent to us, by the way, and we're gonna let you know whether this item is a dope or a nope, which is pretty cool, because if you take a peek at it, it's like a little bit of a funky looking thing. It's cool that it's electric. That's obviously the seat. You see this chick on it. Here's the cool thing though. It folds and you can just stuff it away in your car. Still looks pretty big even though it's folded, but have you, if you've ever tried to put your bike in your car and then you realize, wow, I was stupid. I shouldn't have tried that. That was really dumb of me. Then this can help you in those circumstances. Look, they got a little like speedometer, the range, the temperature outside, even though you'd be feeling it. <laughs> uh, oh, there's a little video right here. Hey guys. Hey. If you're watching this video, that means you're either thinking about purchasing a Hover One e-bike or you already bought one. Neither. I was sent one. Got them. Totally got them. Hey, that's that's pretty cool though. Shipping fully assembled. Props to that. Most of the time you buy these things and you gotta like take like hours to build. That's pretty cool. I, I'll give them that. The bike has a top speed of 20 miles per hour. 20 miles an hour? That's kind of fast for wheels that small. Yeah. <laughs> the only thing that I can't really get over, just a tinge nerdy looking. But I feel like I can get over it if it's fun. So while we set this puppy up to unbox it and test it out, let's check out that next product. Four times emergency survival whistle. <laughs> oh. Survival whistle. Hey, I'm not like a survival guy, so I don't know. Maybe it's a great thing. Maybe it'll scare things away, like it'll scare like bears or wolves away. Maybe it'll attract them to you. I don't know about survival. If you're like in a risky situation in the city, maybe like people are approaching you, you can blow the whistle for sure. And technically I would say that's survival. Oh, that's not so uh, survival looking. That's like, what does that look like, Tanner? A recorder. 100%. Yeah, that looks like a recorder. <laughs> Can you imagine? It's like, don't you come anywhere near me, sir. Don't you come. I'm going to blow my whistle. I'm going to. <laughs> I don't know. Like this one I get. It's a little bit more intense, but these, ah, oof, I don't know. Let's check this out. Let's add a card. Oh, that is tiny. That is way tinier than I thought it was going to be. How loud do you think this is going to be? Zero out of 10. Probably like a seven. You think a seven? Yeah. Are you ready to plug your ears? Yep. So I assume I blow into here and the exiting wind just makes the whistle sound. Okay, I just did it softly. Now I'm gonna do it loud, all right? Yeah. You ready? Not, that loud. Not even as loud as like a coach whistle. 
That was louder than the coach whistle. I don't know. I mean, like, I've been on the receiving end of a coach whistle. Like, that thing can be pretty scary. <laughs> that, that just sounds weird. <laughs> oh, you know what I meant. A coach blew his whistle at me. Nope. <laughs> You guys are perverts, hey, dude. Matt. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of intense looking, so if you're looking to blow a whistle a lot, this could work for that. But I guarantee you there's louder whistles out there. It doesn't even do like the, the fluttering nearly enough either. You know, like the ones with the ball and the whistle. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. It's got like a little Yeah, yeah. But like whistle. <laughs> <laughs> I'ma say Pass. Hanski Original Grey. The original Hanski. <laughs> what is a Hanski? Please tell me it's not to keep your hand warm while you're drinking a beer. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, dude. You guys went all out on this one, dude. These, <laughs> these are bizarre. What's wrong with just getting an actual glove? Wh look at how it's shaped. It's shaped like a Lego hand. It's like, hey, what's up? You wanna shake my hand right now? Put it in the hole. <laughs> Keeps your hand warm and your beverage cold. Soft sheep wool blend. $30! $30! Whether you are out on a family camping trip, tailgating with some friends, or simply having a cold beverage at home, tailgating with some friends, you pull this out when you tailgate with some friends, you're not gonna hear the end of it, guaranteed. So if that's your thing, 100%. That happens to be my thing, so <laughs> let's add the cart. <laughs> okay, here's the question though, right? You're walking around with a drink. Let's, let's grab a drink for this puppy. <laughs> LaCroix. Somehow it's really fitting that this is a LaCroix in this thing, you know? Yeah. <laughs> I feel like people that drink LaCroix would be like, this is kind of a cool, like a little hipsterish thing, you know? Like I need a LaCroix holder. Lemon LaCroix. Ugh, the most basic one. I've drank my LaCroix. I want to keep my hand warm. It's an outside party. What's up? Let's say I don't want to shake with my left hand because my left hand is stupid. Not coordinated with my left hand. All right, Tanner, shake my hand, will you? No, 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 no. There you go, dude. <laughs> nice to meet you, dude. That's the most, like, emasculating thing in the world is sticking your hand in another man's hand. Nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet me. I'm gonna have to say this one's a pass. A good sock puppet? Hi, can I take your dignity away? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so all we did was unpackage the Hover One uh, folding bike. And as you can see, it came folded up already. Supposedly it's completely assembled, so let's see if we can figure this puppy out. First things to note, it is pretty stinking heavy. It is not something that you're gonna be carrying around. But why would you need to carry it around when you can bike it around, right? right. There's a lever right here, it says fold lock. Pull up that. There you go. Nope, there you go. Oh. There you go. That was pretty much it. Guess it's ready to ride. What's cool is that we got a little kickstand right here. I think that actually when you push it forward, this may double as your foot rests right there. Pretty comfortable. It's interesting because it doesn't feel as small as it looks, right? It feels like I'm just kind of like on like a little bit more of a smaller bike. Let's see how much power it's got. Not a huge kick, but I am able to navigate around here pretty well. <laughs> Definitely big though, so it's like you're not gonna really be navigating in an office space like this, but I can successfully do it, so it's pretty nimble. I think we should take it out back, dude. Shoot it. No, I'm just kidding. Right. <laughs> I mean, I mean, ride it. <laughs> so remember, kids, safety first. All right. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do some uh, rideable tests right here. All right. The thing that I'm most curious about is the speed. We got a little speedometer right here. You can actually see the temperature outside. It says it's 70 degrees. It's got full battery power. Ooh, we got a little horn here. Dude, you can trick someone thinking you're like a truck backing up. Yeah. <laughs> I want to see if this puppy can actually go 20 miles per hour. That's what I have to see. They said it can, so let's find out. We're going eight right now. Seems like we're maxing out at eight. 13, 14. Slowly, slowly faster. So it seems like it takes a hot minute to get up to there. I couldn't get, I, I went like maybe like a, a couple hundred yards and it only got up to 16 miles per hour. And I don't even know if this thing's accurate. I was going pretty quick. That being said, the acceleration curve is so slow, which is fine, especially for new riders. But dude, I, I want some, I want some oomph, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Check this out though, what I discovered, which is pretty cool. You got front suspension right here. Take a look at this, watch. Push down on this. All right, Tanner, you want to do a little challenge? Yeah. All right, it. we're going to do a little challenge to see 
who can do the quickest lap time, all right? Stay tuned for that, but before we get into that, next product. SNS Worldwide Toss and Talk about Me Ball. <laughs> I thought, <laughs> I looked at it way too quick, and I was looking at this thing, and I thought, I thought the nurse was sitting on her lap. <laughs> Because <laughs> I can't see what she's sitting on. So I was like, I've never seen a nurse do that. I've never <laughs> seen a nurse get that close, dude. It's new, new meaning to the term wet nurse. <laughs> never, never gonna give you up. They got tons of them, all different kinds. Today, we're gonna look at this one. Talk about me ball. So the idea is, if you can look at it, you are special, believe in yourself. I'm very good at. So I think you toss the ball and maybe like the first thing you see, you read and then if it's a question, you answer it or you finish the sentence, right? I can see how this can be good for like support groups. I can absolutely see how this can be good for even like around the office, you know, just like as like a community building exercise, you know? Be the first to review it. Okay, thank you, I will, add to cart. Oh great, you're gonna make me blow it up myself. <laughs> Thanks Tanner. Oh! Oh! Well, that's the end of this thing. Okay, I did it. You gotta answer honestly, first thing you see. Who can you tell your successes to? Matt and my mom. Me? Yeah, dude. I tell you all my successes. Or failures. A lot more failures. He hasn't told me any yet. Not today, but it's so <laughs> early. <laughs> it's so early. <laughs> I can't be that successful. You are a work of art. Well, that's weak. You gotta answer a question or something. <laughs> I read it upside down and I'm glad I turned it around because I thought it was like, you are a work fart. <laughs> All right, dude, you know what we should do? We should go around and toss this to someone and tell them they have to answer truthfully. Just walk around the office and do that. I'm done. Nicole, <laughs> we're gonna play a little game. All this right? is my favorite. Okay. This is the honesty and truthful game, all right? Okay. Whatever you see first, you read, and you do what it says, you finish the sentence, you answer the question, whatever, all right? Okay. All right. Come over here with okay. me. Ready? Yep. Boom. First thing, what do you see? What did you do for yourself today? I had a Kit Kat for breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> Solid. <laughs> Solid response. I am very good at Nice. First thing you read, go. I'm unique. Name one way that you are unique. I love broccoli. Oh! <laughs> All right, boom. You should have kept that to yourself, Liz. <laughs> Gunner, you're supposed to catch it and read the first thing you see. What is your best feature? Oh, <laughs> that's that was literally the first thing I. Okay, I go. What is it? What is your best what, feature? No, what is your best feature? Oh, how can I answer this without sounding conceited? You can't. Tough luck. Um, <laughs> I got too many. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> you disqualified. Disqualified. What? Uncle Milton? National Geographic? How is this National Geographic? Chameleon vision goggles. See the world like a chameleon using these unique goggles. Rotate the eyes to see multiple directions. Oh, that's, that sounds like it's already gonna give me a headache. Rotate your eyes in multiple directions? I don't see how that, ooh, I don't see how that's gonna work because your brain needs to see one thing. You can't be like looking at two different things and putting it together. I'm shook! Features an adjustable strap. Oh, okay. 98 reviews and no one reviewed the toss ball? <laughs> Am I missing something? I received this today and checked if it worked. Are the eyes just empty hemispheres with holes? I can't see how it works. Yes, just empty balls with holes. Sucks to be you, sucker. Add the cart. What, did you already open this for me? <laughs> uh, mailing issues. What, no kidding, dude. Can you imagine how someone was packaging this? Someone's like, oh, just get it in there, just throw it in there, just tape it up, who cares, throw it out. That was how they packaged it. Oh yeah, okay, so. Straight up, there's nothing special in them. No, no, there's some mirrors right here. What? Why? There's some mirrors on the side, so maybe you can have some peripheral vision, and you can rotate these holes around to give you some like different perspectives. Why? I don't know. Let's try it out. Okay, that's not, that's just not doing anything. I can see a little bit behind me, but this is definitely not chameleon vision. <laughs> it's like the dumbest thing I've ever seen. Are you sure? You look like a chameleon, man. I feel like I'm wearing a bra on my face. <laughs> 31 that way. That way. So it should go two completely opposite directions. Do you hey, see? No, no, you don't understand. There's nothing inside here. So it's just a hole in a different direction. It's not like it's like projecting anything to your eyes. It's just, there's just, there's nothing in there, bro. I'm gonna have to say this one is a hard pass. Uncle Bodro's owl pellet kit. Oh no. No, 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 no. Tanner, this, no. Dude, don't worry, I hate me too for this. No! Ew, no! Oh, okay, okay, it's an owl pellet dissection kit. This is for the people that like to dissect animal feces. I don't believe I've met any of these types of people yet, but when I do, I will run. The opposite direction is 
fast as possible. Hi, my name is Matthias. I like to dissect animal feces. Wash your hand before you touch people. No, don't hold it in your hand! What is wrong with you? Stop! Oh! Yeah, we're gonna be finding a lot of bones in their poop. I've done this before. You have not. I have. Why? We used to have to do this in school. No, there's no excuse. Wait, what? That's literally the excuse. There's, yeah. That's not an excuse to me, because when I had to do this in school, I literally was like, no, not doing that. And the teacher was like, uh, uh Okay. <laughs> I was like, not dissecting feces. Thanks, but no thanks. I already play with my own poop. I just don't understand. Like, hey, it, you, <laughs> you can learn a lot about an animal <laughs> if you look at their poop. Also, depending on the taste of it, <laughs> you can tell <laughs> from what region it's from. Only because it's four and a half stars right here, dude, at the cart. <sighs> what dim owls done eat? <laughs> <laughs> no, it includes owl pellets! What did you think? I thought it was just a kit so that when you go and find it, you know, when you're a perv, you just know where the animal poop is. Matthias is getting upset! They didn't even have the common decency to seal the owl pellets. They are what it looks to be like in the bag, wrapped in tin foil. Oh yeah, that's how they preserve them, yeah, for tin foil. Oh yeah, yeah, no, yeah, no. Just yeah. casual. It's just ca super casual. Super, super casual, you know? <laughs> you know, anytime I go to the bathroom, I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. I ate something really good last night. Let's preserve that poop. Oh, that's fantastic too. This is just, just <laughs> fantastic, dude. Straight up, I laughed at two to that, was so funny. <laughs> this is why sometimes, when you go to my house, Tanner, there's not just toilet paper by my toilet. There's tin foil, you know? <laughs> if you really like your meal and you want to preserve your poop, you know, so someone later can dissect it and be like, what exactly did they put in that? I'm really gonna do this. Oh my gosh, this is so upsetting. Uh, I, nope, I give up. No, 100% no. I'm, I give up. I'm sorry, guys. Your boy's not man enough. Ah! See, here's the thing. I wouldn't even have touched that before it was digested. And then it got digested. Some rat with diseases that I wouldn't even have touched it when it was alive. Then an owl eat it, turns it up in its stomach, poops it out, and now it's okay to touch. Oh, pass. Geez. Hard pass! Retro Arcade Watch. This is a weird Amazon page. They like customized it. Classic Collector's Arcade Watch. Hey, that's pretty cool, dude. Galactic Defense. It's like a little game you can play on your watch. They talk about Apple Watches. This is way cooler. Like you can play some games on your Apple Watch, but like imagine if you had like a little joystick on it and you're just like pop, pop, pop. Bzz. Bah, die, spaceship. I dig it, dude. No reviews. We're the first to review a lot of these products. It seems like that's a common occurrence these days. Add to cart. Sleek, stylish packaging. Ah, think geek. I see. Oh no, that's all it does? Oh, I'm disappointed, Think Geek. Don't call it an arcade watch if you can't play at least some rudimentary game. I mean, I know I'm not the only one disappointed. When you guys first saw this and I was about to open this, ow, dude, that hurts. And I was about to open this up. I know you wanted something special and this isn't it. That's like what it does. You wanna see my arcade watch? I can press a button and it lights up, but you can't play any games. So it's not an arcade watch? No, guess not. <laughs> like those are the conversations you're gonna have with your friends, you know, when you when you're like, oh look at this, this is so cool. Look at my watch, Dad. Because that's the only friends you have when you're using this. <laughs> Arrested. I really want to show you more about this watch. I mean, the asteroids move around, and that's how you tell time. That's about it. I'm gonna have to say pass on this. It just doesn't do enough. Even if it had just most rudimentary game on top, I would have said buy it. But no. Fred Movers and Shakers Salt and Pepper Shaker. What does that mean? It has got like a little vibration motor in there, so you don't have to shake it yourself. Pull the cord, and they'll shake four you. Oh gosh, trying to solve problems that aren't problems. Shaking for your own salt and pepper can be so exhausting. <laughs> Just pull the cord and let these vibrating shakers do the work for you. Maybe if you can't shake or something like that, you know, like, but I feel like people would have gotten around this problem by like having a salt bowl and just doing the pinch thing. You know, you just pinch it on your food and do this, right? Oh, they got varying reviews here. Five stars, like, no, for five stars, you gotta say love. Shaker on steroids, vigorous shaking with a, a large dose of salt or pepper. A significantly higher quantity came out. Consider this item a shaker on steroids. I added the cart, let's see how this puppy works. Movers and shakers, self-shaking. Wow, these couldn't be made more cheaply. They are like, not at all what the picture looks like. Let's see how it shakes. Oh jeez, they aren't kidding. That is like a salt shaker on steroids. Let's let's see let's see what it looks like. Should we see if it actually allows more salt to come out? Yes. Wow, there's not a lot of room in there whatsoever. <laughs> so I'm gonna put this in here and here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna put the top back on and I'm going to regularly shake it like a normal human being. 
and we're gonna see how much salt we get. We're gonna see right here on this black piece of paper. Ooh, I kind of like that black though, dude. Yeah, it looks clean. Guys, what do you think? Should I change my desk to black? That's kind of killer, bro. This is normal. One, two, three. Okay, not much salt. Three, four, five, okay? We get an idea, there's not that much. Now we're gonna do one shake of the vibration pull string. Oh my gosh. That does do a lot more. Yeah. A lot more. <laughs> it's kind of awesome. <laughs> I don't know, dude. Like, it's so dumb that it's kind of cool. I'm gonna give this to J. Fred. J. Fred, if, in case you didn't know, has a salt addiction. Actually, he's low on s sodium or, I don't know, some health thing. He's always like, I need salt. J. Fred, this is for you. I got this special for you. Here you go, dude. Come and get it. Buy it. All right, Tanner, we got ourselves a little challenge here. A little course. Okay. A little course. As you can see, the cones have been set up right here. All right, now, the quickest two laps win. But wins what? We should have figured out the bet, the bet before, before we shaking hands. hands. Yeah, but this is kind of because now we natural. can't really release until we make, we a, make bet. a bet. Lunch. Lunch. Where? Habit. Deal. Ready? Set. Go. Boom. You stay. No, I don't, dude. Look at this. Zigzagging like crazy, dude. Oh, I got a little wide on the turn there, dude. Oh no, my kick, my. <laughs> oh, I got, I got a rough start in there. That's one lap. Oh, oh. I can do it, dude. I believe in myself. When you pull the brakes, dude, it hooks. Oh, hey. oh. oh my gosh. Here we go, here we go. Oh, here it is. And time. I feel like that was rough. That was pretty clean. I'm gonna be I honest. I feel like that was pretty rough. What do you think, Tanner? I think that was pretty good. I'm gonna be honest. I'm a little bit nervous. Are you ready, Tanner? I'm ready for it. <laughs> don't, don't die. Ah! Oh, jeez. You got a little fun. too much power for it. All about the whips. Me! Okay. Yeah, I got these daddy long legs, dude. He always looks like a waddling giraffe. <laughs> it's hard, man. You give me all these little things to ride. Give a boy a big bike. Final lap. I don't know if that was quick enough. You can do it. it. Go! Ah! <laughs> Woo! Ah. All right, so let's hear the times, Liz. Let's hear them. 34 seconds. I got 34 seconds. Tanner had 40. Shut up! Four Ten four? seconds longer than you? <laughs> Are you sure? <gasps> oh my gosh, dude! This is every dope or nope ever. <laughs> All right, Tanner. So, what do you think? Dope or nope? Dope. Yeah? I think it's really dope. For what it's worth. For what it's worth. Yeah. So here's the thing. Here's the only thing I would say before I give my final opinion. That if you don't live in a flat city, this thing will not work for you. It had trouble going up just even like a very small incline, all right? That being said, if you if you push that aside and you got a flat city, I give it a dope. I give it a dope. It's fun, that's for sure, and it folds up. See that video right there? That is an eBay hangover cure. No joke. <laughs> not even getting in the slightest bit. Click it, it's pretty funny. This video over here, that that is a video that YouTube thinks you specifically will enjoy. All right, catch you over there.